Palisades Tahoe is hosting the World Cup this weekend. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner is live for us tonight with a preview of all the action. Andrew. Good evening, Curtis and Elizabeth. Yeah, this is the first men's World Cup at Palisade since 1969, and there's going to be a lot of unique challenges, not only on the course, but with what this weather is going to be throwing at the best skiers in the world. So what exactly is it that they're going to be looking at? Well, we're all about getting answers here at CBS 13. So I dusted off the skis, and we went up on the hill to see just what this is all going to look like this coming weekend. kind of course that unless you're skiing it, it's going to ski you. You walk up some metal stairs and then get up to the starting gate. It is so steep. There's so much terrain in it. And it doesn't really hit you until you get to dog leg. Very few courses on the World Cup have that many different pitch angles. Plus, we're getting into st steeps of like 58% on certain, certain sections of the course. But don't take my word for it. <laughs> River Radimus of Team USA knows exactly what he's in for. They've really put a lot of work into making this track unique. It's got a lot of uh, sharp, in insane terrain, and uh, it's going to be a really fun show. The pitches on this course can be as steep as 60 degrees, and as for the speed... The GS side, we're going to be pushing 70 plus. No, you didn't hear course designer Phil Gillen far wrong. Pushing 70 miles an hour, and it'll sound like this. And that's before the final course prep. We've been watering the course and just create a more dense, compact surface. Palisades has used 850,000 gallons of water, an Olympic-sized swimming pool to ice out this course. We've been working for uh, months actually preparing the course. Well. And the way the course is oriented leads it right to the base, giving the finish line almost a stadium feel. Everything's right here. People can walk up and watch and that really creates an atmosphere that's that's pretty special. So Team USA can inspire new generations. When I was growing up and I saw races in the US, it made the whole sport seem real to me. And hopefully bringing, bringing the sport back to the kids around here will we'll make it seem real to them. With Palisades as the focal point of the racing world in the United States. Incredible terrain uh, and mountains that we have here for not only our guests to ski, but the best competitors in the world. Why you do big events is so you can show everyone around the world what a special place we have. So as we mentioned, those world-class racers, the edges on their skis are like figure skates. They're competing on what is basically black ice. So this kind of stuff and 20 inches of it is not the greatest for a race. And the teams have been hard at work trying to get as much snow as possible off the course before tomorrow. The start times have been delayed an hour, but really other than that, all systems are a go at Palisades for what should be one heck of a show out there on the mountain.